Steve McGoffin, uh, congratulations, another five for, I guess you don't want this summer to end really. Oh, I mean, the, the last month's been, been really uh, sort of good for myself personally. Um, it's sort of certainly a bit different to the start of the season where I was pretty slow at the blocks. Um, but uh, to, to really put in some good performances over, over the past month is, uh, you know, I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, I think as a team we played some really good cricket in those games as well, so we, we, we had a bit of a blip against Kent, but I think overall our, the way we played over the past month is, is, has really been exciting and uh, it's been moving forward well. What's been the difference over the last few weeks, Steve? Oh, look, I think, uh, you know, I think from my point of view, the, certainly the surfaces have, have changed a little bit. Uh, there were, you know, there were a lot of flat wickets going around at the start of the season and, um, you know, yeah, probably wasn't the only fast bowler around the country that was feeling the pinch a little bit as well. So, um, a, few, a bit more on the wicket, obviously Leicester did plenty. Um, there's a good cricket wicket out here this game, uh, certainly a new ball wicket. So, um, if, if, tomorrow if we can um, you know, try and get that ball soft, uh, put together a couple of partnerships and, and uh, and, and you know, go well through the middle part of the day, then we can try and get as close as we can to their target. Five seasons down here, Steve. You've got f over 50 wickets in each of your five seasons. You must be very proud of that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, personally, really um, pleasing milestone to, to reach that again this year. It's, um, you know, I think it's probably what every uh, opening bowler around the country probably sets their benchmark at is to get to 50. Um, you know, got another innings here and another game to go to, to try and creep that up a little bit more. Um, but, you know, to be, uh, certainly about my age to be able to come back for another season and and get there again uh, when at the start of the year it looked like a, a, a long, long way away. Um, you know, it's been really, really pleasing. When you're not taking wickets, do you worry? Oh, I think everybody does. I think, um, you know, I've just, you know, I've, I've I think mentally I've had a really challenging year at the start of the season just to try and find ways, ways to kind of stay in the game, really. Um, and it was all about just, you know, trying to control the end, really, then. So if I can get the odd breakthrough here and there, but, uh, but, but keep the scoring under control, then, then that's sort of doing the second part of my job uh, as well. And, and like I said, when I had a bit of, you know, a few things turn and a bit of luck go my way a few games ago, when it gets you a bit of confidence and, and gets you on a little bit of a roll, and just trying to catch him on that now. And do you back yourself, or do you sort of talk to the coaching staff when things aren't going so well? I always talk to the coaching staff. I mean, John Lewis and, and Dave have been excellent, Wrighty and Brownie as well, just to, you know, just got to keep, uh, you know, I was just keep trying to hang in there and, and knowing that, you know, with, with my experience across the years, that if you do that and you keep doing the right things, and then you eventually get to get the rewards and, and uh, things start to turn your way. And you've not been too well in recent weeks, Steve. Just tell us a bit about that. I just had a really pretty ordinary cold flu a few weeks ago in, in, uh, in the game against uh, Kent, so um, kind of hung around for a, for a week or so. And, um, you know, this is probably the first game in that period where I've actually felt 100% really, so um, you know, good to, to get out and get a few more overs on the belt and a few more wins. And you're playing with these young bowlers in this, aren't you? Particularly young Joffre Arch. What's it like in terms of yourself and with these young developing quick bowlers? Oh, like I said, I think I said it at the start of the season when guys like Stu Whittingham and, and, and Garts were playing as well. It's a, it's a really exciting time for the club and in the, with the fast bowlers that are coming through. Um, you know, John Lewis has done a great job with them and when we're out on the field it's um, you know it's uh, important for me to try and stay close to those guys as well and help them along during the way um, they're all tremendous talents all three of them uh, and if they can you know get through this early uh, it's a really tough part of their careers where, you, where you're playing a lot of four-day cricket back to back and naturally um, you can pick up a few niggles along the way but they're, they're in, you know they're learning every time they are bowling, and it's just a case now that if we can get them on the park for extended periods of time, they'll they'll continue to grow and, and you know really take this club forward in the future. What about this pitch, Steve? Like I said it's a, it's a good cricket wicket, um, new ball wicket, you know certainly uh, more so, um, you know. But I think there's enough in it for both both bat and ball. Uh, they rally pretty well towards the end there with a you know a bit of a counter punch partnership, and um, you know. But I think as a bowling group, we bowl particularly well across the whole day. So. Um, Tough batting conditions out there yeah. towards the end with uh, a little bit, bit of light, but uh, credit to them, they they came back and, and they they put the ball in the right area and got and got the results as well. So, like I said, try and put the partnerships together tomorrow, get as close as we can, uh, and go again in the second innings. Final question: I was watching you on the boundary the other week. I think it was the Kent game. I noticed the cap that you wear. It looks a bit frayed. Is that an old an old cap that you wear? Yeah, well, it's um, it's one of when I was capped about four years ago, so it's still it's still in circulation at the moment. Uh, it's looking a bit, bit through a bear at the moment, so I might try and get a, a recondition in the off-season. Lucky cap, though? It's a lucky cap. I don't like changing my cap, so I've never changed the cap in any of the, any of the teams I've played for in the past, so I don't intend on doing that now. Terrific. Steve, well done today. Thanks a lot.